Hey y'all. Okay, so yeah, it's been <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to actually post a video. Um, I was gonna try to do a day in the life today, but I don't know. I don't think that's gonna happen. I am just now getting over being horribly sick. I have had the worst cold for the last couple of weeks. Like my upper lip is all irritated from constantly wiping my nose. Um, <clears throat> my skin is all dry. I just, I feel awful. My throat has been hurting. Today is probably the first day I felt a little bit normal <laughs> in probably two weeks. Um, I, I've really been trying to get better without the aid of antibiotics um, because my body usually I usually end up taking antibiotics and yeah it'll knock it out but that also makes me rebound really quickly um, when I take antibiotics because it doesn't give my body a chance to actually fight it off so I've been determined to kick this cold naturally and so far it's taken a long time but it's finally finally getting better um, things have just been crazy around here you guys I have had it's just been one thing after another. Um, today I've got to stay home and get the house clean. I have all three kids at school right now. Piper's upstairs watching a movie. And um, I am just trying to get my house clean. I have one of the first of many um, doctor's appointments to take the kids to today. Um, Narkees has his um, speech evaluation um, at the hospital today. I don't know why they schedule it at the hospital, but whatever. Um, so he has a speech evaluation at 2.30 and my husband's going to check the kids out of school at 1.30 and then we have a family member coming over to watch the three kids while, while I take Narkees to the doctor. And um, they said the speech evaluation will take right at an hour um, to get that done. And that, I mean, this is just the first of many doctor's appointments. I have ophthalmologist appointments that are three hours away. <laughs> Um, in the nearest town that actually deals with children who have strabismus um, because usually strabismus is a problem that is fixed um, when during infancy um, but Narkees is 10 so we have to go really out of our way my cat is drinking my coffee really really I wasn't done with that dude Anyway, <laughs> um, I cannot believe you're drinking my coffee. Stop. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Um, anyways, they have ophthalmologist appointments. Um, they have speech therapy evaluations. They have physical therapy evaluations. And then after that, they have their actual speech therapy and their actual physical therapy. Um, they have to see an orthopedist. They have to see a neurologist. Um, they have to get they still have to get their dental work done i mean it is just it is a whole list i have an entire booklet like this thick of appointments so far and i'm a little overwhelmed um but we're, we're getting it all done and my husband recently went back to school um, i'm so so proud of him for going back to school though and i think it's awesome that he's doing it um but it means that he's not home nearly as much as he used to be. Um, when he does get home, on a normal day's work, he gets home around 6. And then on nights that he has class, it's well after 9.30 um, before he gets home. So it's pretty much just me and the kids um, most of the time, um, which is fine. Um, I'd rather him go to school and, you know, not have help with the kids um, than him not go to school because... He's, he's been trying to go back for a really long time. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm just going to get the house cleaned up today. I got most of my kitchen done this morning. Um, I need to mop the floors, um, reduce the laundry mountain downstairs a little bit. I have to take the garbage out. Um, our garbage is driving me crazy, you guys. Look at this. I have two bags here, and then I have this. We forgot <laughs> to put the garbage on the road um on tuesday when it actually ran and our garbage outside is i mean it is overflowing full um so and the garbage doesn't run again until tuesday so i'm not sure what we're gonna do <laughs> with our garbage i'm kicking myself for not looking outside and taking it out it was just it was a crazy morning and we m both my husband and i completely forgot about it so oh, what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and one of the other um fun things that we got um, my, my mother-in-law's fiance, um, 
they're they're moving wow that's really bad lighting I'm sorry you guys um, my mother-in-law and her fiance they're getting married soon and and they're trying to combine houses so my um, my soon-to-be um, father-in-law didn't need his this piano anymore and he got it at a uh, an antique store not an antique store a thrift store I think and so he gave it to me and we got rid of our TV well we're going to get rid of our TV but this is my piano I'm so proud of it it's really old um, I don't know if y'all why is it so dark in this room really really let's see if we can fix this at all let's see okay camera settings awesome all right but this is the piano that we got we did have our big um tv hutch here and we just put that on the street um the tv is now up here um however i've recently decided i do not like it up there um we're gonna take it down and i'm gonna do family pictures above the piano instead but this piano is circa 1909 was when it was um, when it was manufactured. It is a Clough and Warren. Um, I just love it. It's the only thing is it's missing the wooden piece that goes right here, but I actually love that it is exposed and I think I'm going to get glass and just put glass right here so you can see the date. And I don't know if y'all can see these signatures right here. Um, these are the dates that the piano was tuned and it's so neat. It says May 28th, 1959, May 16th, 1962, 1956, and then the earliest one right here is 1941. And then there's another one um, somewhere further down in this region that says 1926. So it is an awesome piano. Um, it needs, it definitely needs to be, um, you know, refurbished and it needs to be oiled and it needs a lot of repair work, but come on, it's over a hundred years old. <laughs> so I just think it's, it's awesome. Um, I love, wow, the lighting, now it's too bright, you guys. Um, I love anything that's kind of old and decrepit. Um, I love antiques. Um, I would have my whole entire house, um, every piece of furnishing in my house would be antique um, if I didn't have children and if I could afford half of the antique items that I actually want. Wow, why is it so bright? Come on, camera. Behave. Okay, whatever. It's okay. Um, hi, Bo. Anyway, I'm going to finish cleaning. I just wanted to show you guys my piano. So does this happen to anyone else? I'm just cleaning the kitchen and I have these two humongous things and I mean there's just there's just junk in them. I mean come on. We've got like Valentine's, some old pictures, hairbrush, pens. In this one we have a bunch of Ukrainian money that we didn't spend <laughs> in Ukraine. Um, we have a pack of razors, some metal pole sockets, tape, a random apple. I mean, come on, how does this happen? I don't know. I don't know. It drives me crazy because then I have to sort through all of it and find a home for every little thing in there. What is my cat doing? I have a strange cat, you guys. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Do you see a squirrel? Are you going to get it? Are you going to get it? Are you gonna get the squirrel? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, he sees, I don't know if y'all can see it out there. Oh, it's too bright. There's actually a squirrel right there. Let's see if we can fix this. Do, 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 there he is. Look at this, look at my cat. <laughs> Y'all, look at Zoe's precious little valentine that she made me at school. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and then on this side, she like glued a ginormous heart. It's preciousness. And then she said, Love Zoe. And she glued a ton of stuff. And there's a little picture of her blowing kisses like she's blowing the hearts into the air. And it says, Zoe, love, mom. Isn't that precious? That is amazing. That's the best Valentine ever. Okay, now I'm moving into the 
living room. Um, this is always one of my most dreaded rooms. This and the bathrooms. It just takes me so long to get this room looking decent. Um, I have laundry, the beanbag chair, all of this. This chair needs to be cleaned up. Carpet needs to be vacuumed. Things need to be moved. Um, I think it's just a pain in the butt because I have to pick this carpet up, I have to sweep the whole floor, and then I have to put the carpet back down, or sweep and mop the whole floor, and I have to put the carpet back down, vacuum the carpet, um, the guinea pig cage over here needs to be cleaned out, I need to reorganize the shoes, I need to work on some laundry downstairs, uh -huh. I do not like this. I actually do that, um, but yeah. Okay, so my kitchen is pretty clean. I still have a few dishes in the sink that I need to take care of. And in here, I have the rug pulled up. Um, the rug's right there. I have all the laundry consolidated into one basket. I just need to sweep the floor and mop um, and finish up over here. And then we can start tackling upstairs. Okay, it is 12 o'clock and I got most of most of the house cleaned, uh, folding laundry, kitchen's clean, downstairs is clean, I vacuumed upstairs, um, I got my dining room table mostly cleared off, um, I still need to change the guinea pig's cage and the cat litter. Um, <laughs> and right now I'm going to try to get Piper down for an, an AP and uh, get in the shower so I can get the rest of that stuff done while um, while she's sleeping. Um, and I need to somehow take the garbage out. I have three bags that I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Um, it may just get to hang out in our garage until, until the garbage actually runs, but yeah. Okay, so I managed to get in the shower and get some makeup on and get ready to leave. And uh, now I'm just waiting on my husband to come home with the kids and for my babysitter to get here so that we can go ahead and go to his speech evaluation. <sighs> and I still didn't get half of the things done that I needed to get done. The guinea pig's cage still needs to be cleaned out. Um, I still need to change the cat litter. I still need to finish massive amounts of laundry. What do you do? I can only do so much, but anyway, that's, what's, that's what I'm about to do now. Okay, so I actually made it. Um, we are about 15 minutes early, but I think we're going to go ahead and go in because they said I had paperwork to fill out. So um, we're going to go in. How you doing, buddy? Say previous. Awesome. You have some awesome cowlick hair going on there, bud. <laughs> I love you. Da. Da. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I'll be able to film in there or not, but I'm going to try. Okay, so I didn't get to film at the actual um, speech evaluation. Um, it was just too hectic. I don't know. There was just a lot of paperwork that I had to fill out, and it was just me and Nar Narkees and I, and um, <coughs> it was just too much of a hassle to try to get out my camera and film. Plus, the waiting room was extremely um, crowded, so I would have would have looked a little strange um, holding a big camera out in front of me talking to myself. Um, but it went well. Um, she was really impressed about how he um, repeats words when you ask him to, and uh, about how he's trying to enunciate um, all of his words properly. Um, so she was impressed. She said he's doing great um, overall. So that's good. Um, Aiden has um, has speech therapy next week or start speech therapy next week and then from there each boy has one hour of occupational therapy one hour of speech therapy and one hour of regular physical therapy that's a lot that is six hours worth of therapy a week um, I have no idea how we're going to schedule that into our lives um, but I guess we'll figure it out I'm really hoping that they can see them all at the same time but I don't know. It's look, not looking like it. But I got Aiden and Narquise's urologist and ophthalmologist appointments. And they're two separate dates. 
um, from each other. So Narquises are two two separate days, and then Aidens are two separate days, and then they're separate from one another. Does that make sense? So I have four different days, um, and the ophthalmologist and neurologist that they're seeing is a good two hours away. So I have to drive a good four hour round trip four times <laughs> just to get them seen by all of these doctors. So. Again, no idea how we're gonna work that into our schedule um, because I have Zoe in school and the boys are also in school and I don't like them missing a ton of school, um, but it's looking like we're not no, we're not gonna have a lot of options here in the next couple weeks. Um, so that totals out at 15 doctor's appointments that I now have scheduled. I have one down, 14 more to go, um, and then probably even way more after that. Um, yeah. <laughs> So that was our day. I'm sorry I couldn't film as much as I wanted to. Um, the girls are home. Um, everyone's in bed. It's only 6.30, but everyone was tired and irritable, so I just I just put everybody to bed. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to grab some dinner and then try to get some editing done so I can actually get a video up for you guys. Um, and my husband has class tonight, so he's not going to be home till around 9 o'clock. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you all later. Bye, y'all.